Hi, Dr. Fournette and Ms. Fauquier. My name is Brooke Brignac Lowenkron, and my DPT program is Louisiana State University. I'll go ahead and get started with the first question. So, five ways that have prepared me for this internship would date back to when I turned 16 and got my first job at Raisin Canes. And within a year, I was promoted to shift manager. And I was able to write the schedules for the employees and collect inventory and things of that nature at a young age. Next would be when I got to Baton Rouge Community College and was selected by the college to be a writing tutor in the Academic Learning Center. I was able to help my peers with their research papers and coursework and things of that nature. The next would be when I started shadowing a registered dietitian and over the years have acquired extensive knowledge of what a registered dietitian does in real life situations as far as um, the patient to registered dietitian interactions as well as the medical professionals that I feel have definitely prepared me for this internship as well. Next would be when I got to Louisiana State University and I was able to be a part of the Student Nutrition and Dietetic Association. I have since then acquired numerous chair positions within the association. Things like I'm the Student Agriculture Association Liaison. I am both the brand as well as the SNDA National Nutrition Month's chair. I'm the Socials Chair and the Thanksgiving Baskets Chair. And all of these responsibilities as well as juggling the role of being a full-time student and shadowing my registered dietitian have definitely all prepared me for this internship as well. Lastly, but not least, would be that I am a mother as well to a beautiful little girl. She's four years old and she keeps me busy but also accountable and organized and just I make sure that I distribute my time exactly how I'm supposed to and with discipline, determination, and a good attitude at all times. So for the next question, I would love to see myself within three years working for the WIC program and helping pregnant women and mothers who are facing food insecurities and um, who need help in gaining access to proper nutritious foods for themselves and their babies and also spreading um, breastfeeding awareness and promotion within the WIC program. Within five years, I would love to see myself uh, board certified in pediatric nutrition. And uh, as far as the research part goes, I would love to be part of qualitative research regarding nutrition and child development and things of that nature as well. So for the hypothetical question, I am a firm believer in a little bit goes a long way and so far the way that I've been able to be successful in my program I just a little bit of studying a little bit of preparing each day as soon as you figure out what your assignments are what your objectives are and you're able to assess that those situations and say okay this is what I'm going to do today can't get it all done today but since I have a assignment as well as an exam or a presentation as well as an exam that are all both due on the same day I'm going to do a little bit every day of each and spread my time within those two evenly so that way one doesn't perform exceptionally well and the other one is a dud or that both of them, both of them end up seeming about 50% because I stretched myself too thin towards the end and waited too long to start the process of both assignments. So that's, that's how I would definitely say that is the only way that I would find myself successful in both the presentation and the exam that would be scheduled on the same day.
The way that I fit in with the mission at Fran U would be my natural desire to want to always help my community in any way that I possibly can. Um, it truly brings me happiness to see my community, people around me, happier, healthier, and living lifestyles that are ideal for them. And um, being a registered dietitian and gaining the extensive knowledge that I will at FranU will essentially um, be the pivotal part of how I'll be able to effectively serve my community and help them um, get out of that feeling of hopelessness that I feel so many in our community do are faced with and um, bring them closer to the uh, programs and services that are in place to help them live those healthier lifestyles and um, be a servant leader in that way. For the last question, the challenges that I know I will be faced with in the future as I move forward with Fran News program would be all equate to one specific category and that would be time management skills. Um, as long as I continue to challenge myself in preparation, determination, and a good attitude and face head on all of the various roles, assignments, and class, and being a mama, and all of those things combined, and um, make sure that my time management skills continue to um, improve as the assignments, the coursework um, continues to roll in, and facing 32 hours a week on campus, things of that nature that I know will definitely bring challenges to me, but um, there are also challenges that I, am, I welcome and I'm excited and ready to go. So those are the ways that I know I can um, sort of combat those situations and make the best of it and uh, treat it as a learning experience as well as a gift to help me better understand and learn the discipline of dietetics. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for considering me as a intern for your program and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.